Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Here's another fast and fabulous recipe to help you along your keto weight loss journey. Today we're making chocolate zucchini muffins. Their texture is amazing because they're kind of a cross between a muffin, brownie, and cake. You're going to love them. Grate your zucchini, place it in a colander, and sprinkle it with a little bit of salt, and go ahead and mix that thoroughly and let it sit. The salt is gonna help pull the water out of the zucchini, so that when you go ahead and squeeze out the excess moisture, you'll get that zucchini as dry as possible when you're adding it to your muffins. Then go ahead and measure your dry ingredients into a medium bowl and whisk that together to make sure you break up any lumps. This muffin was probably meant to be a breakfast recipe, but it is so rich, sweet, chocolatey, and delicious, it can easily pass for a dessert. So if you're a chocolate lover and looking for a new guilt-free treat, just keep watching. Once you've mixed your dry ingredients and grated your zucchini, set that aside. Now, go ahead and melt the butter and the unsweetened baking chocolate together in a microwave-safe bowl. It'll take about two 30-second intervals. I found this muffin recipe within the bundle of cookbooks that's a part of a package produced by Keto Resource. And I'm able to get you guys access to these same ebooks for free via the link in the description box below. There'll be an ebook containing keto chocolate treats, one focusing on peanut butter recipes, and then another that covers breakfast, lunch, dinner, and all kinds of keto meals. It's roughly 200 recipes that you guys can access using the link in the description box below. I love bringing you guys recipes on the channel. However, this resource bundle is chock full of amazing recipes and something that I felt would be a fantastic resource to get your hands on. So I wanted to make sure I shared the link with you, share the information with you because I think it's really gonna be beneficial and helpful for you guys along your keto weight loss journey. And so far so good, the recipes are delicious. Next, add your wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, starting with the egg. Now you can add the chocolate and butter mix in and mix that until it's well incorporated. Then with clean hands, go ahead and squeeze the water out of the zucchini. Again, the salt is going to really help extract some of the moisture because they are very water-rich foods. And this is going to get you the driest result possible to add to your batter. Once you've added the zucchini to the mixture, you can go ahead and mix thoroughly with a hand mixer and scrape the bowl down once. And just give it another extra mix for a few seconds just to make sure everything's combined. You're gonna have a fluffy, silky, luxurious batter for your muffins. Once you've got your batter mixed up, go ahead and spoon the batter evenly into your wells. I ran out of muffin liners when I was making the video, but I really wanted to get it made because I had to make them per the request of my son. And I wanted to get the video out for you guys so that you can make the recipe as well. I would highly recommend that you use muffin liners with this recipe. The cake is very soft and tends to stick to the bottom of the pan a little bit without this. So I would definitely recommend using parchment muffin liners. Bake the muffins for between 15 and 18 minutes at 350 degrees, depending on the heat of your oven. Check the muffins around 12 minutes, and then just let them cool in the pan for about three minutes before removing them. Then let them cool on a baking rack and enjoy. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, spending some time on the channel. I hope you guys make these fantastic, delicious, and nutritious chocolate zucchini muffins. 
definitely tag me and share if you do make the recipe. If you enjoyed the video and the recipe, go ahead and do me a favor and share, like, and comment so that we can let the algorithm know where to send all the rest of the foodies looking for their next favorite recipe.